Hey everybody, it is Lisa from Lisa Chase Kaylee here on YouTube, the scrappingmommy.blogspot.com, and of course the mini album scraps.ning.com. Alright, so I just got back from my trip. As uh, some of you guys know, I went to see Julie, who is a member of my site, um, and she is amazing. First, let me say, she's probably one of the nicest people that I've ever had the privilege to meet, let alone hang out with. So I have some amazing stuff to show you guys, and I want everyone to go over to her Etsy, and it is the Paper Bag Lady on Etsy. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys know for sure, but she is the Paper Bag Lady. Um, she also has a website, and it's the Paper Bag Lady, I believe, too. So I'll put them both down below. She makes the cutest paper bag mini albums, and she has amazing trims and all kinds of just... I i don't think I've ever seen so much stuff, so much really, really cool stuff. So let me show you guys some of the trim that she has. This is a um, single-sided loop trim and it's probably it's a little under a quarter of an inch very slightly and she has black blue and pink and the the pink color is like a coral it'll go great with that um the coral couture die cuts with the view paper perfectly so there's those love them you could not imagine she was pulling stuff out of everywhere, <laughs> packing it up for me. She's amazing. I brought her like a couple little things and she sent me home with a, a, a massive, <laughs> thank God we were driving an SUV. How about that? Because <laughs> I would have had to ride on the roof for everything to fit. She was, she was so good to me, guys. There's this. This is like a lace, but it's a very tight woven. I'll let that focus. Man, I changed my lighting, okay, so that hopefully I would get a better picture, and I still don't think it's better. Some of my videos were orange, and now this video is too bright. Ugh. I can't win. I'm even using the reveal bulbs, the good bulbs. I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> There's this. It's a lace. You guys see that? So tons of that. I love this one. This is another lace, but it's got an iridescent sparkle to it. Can you guys see that? It's super, super pretty. There's so much here, guys. I like. And her mini albums are so cute. This is a double loop. It's got a loop on both sides, similar to those other ones, but, you know, instead of on one side, it's on both. And this is like a cream color eggshell. And then this is a similar color, and it's more like a Chinese knot. So there's that one. So I, I'm telling you guys, she has, and her prices are really, really good. When you look on her Etsy, she's got good prices. She's definitely fair. There's this one. And again, that one's like a creamy, not stark white, but more of a creamy color. this one, which is definitely a creamy beige. It reminds me of like macrame, but that's not really what it is because it's like sewn that way, so that one's really neat. I like how nice and heavy that is. That would be great for a book band. This trim here, I thought this one was really cool. It's like a two-tone and it has like an open spot in between them so that's really cool it's gonna make another great book band there's so much of that since so much guys this one here let me spread it out my background's pink maybe if i change my back my underneath look how nice and wide that is that white and the pink it's that would make beautiful flowers really nice this, I love this, a crocheted lace, 
and it's like a um not really a red not really a pink not really a burgundy um, maybe like a wine color maybe not so much of a wine color I, I don't know what you would call this but it's a really really great color nice jewel tone like deep coloring so that one's really pretty there's this one and this one is sort of like a rickrack but not <laughs> it's a wave and then it has like a little tassel in between so that one was really cool and that one's in black I'm telling you guys if you haven't been over to her Etsy you haven't checked out her stuff you definitely definitely need to this one which I thought this one is adorable I love the size of this this is great on a mini that mini scallop like, love that let's see oh I love this one too this is another and the the yardage that she sells this in is I mean she gives you uh, plenty to work with at a, such a good price so there's this one another great trim for on your mini albums this would work great on a card something like that where you need something that's pretty and doesn't overtake what you're making and then there's this one and this is another more of a knotted braided trim and this one's white I'm trying to find a good spot where there's no glare now what I'm going to do guys about the lighting. So there was that one. There is so much more. Hold on. Oh, here guys. This is, I will show you. Let me pull this out. I will show you her, one of her mini albums. Because she sent one home for Chase. And you guys know that Chase is a, my son, my five-year-old. He's a big lover of animals and dinosaurs and anything like that. So... I will show you because she sent uh, some at home for him. <laughs> okay, there's so much in here, guys. All right, here we go. She has this satin ribbon in a brown, and it's what is that? It's a little bit under um, three quarters of an inch, a little bit over half inch, under three quarters. So, yeah, I'll tell you exactly. Probably five eighths or so. But she sells that satin ribbon in a brown and in a cherry, like a cherry pink. It's not really a, well, a cherry red color. I mean, I look on the screen and it does not do the colors justice. And I got those good bulbs. I just don't get it. So there's those. She's got black, flat back pearls, which I wanted terribly bad. So... And they're good quality. You can see they're black the whole way through. The pieces in between are solid black. I've gotten some where they're like someone colored them black or something. That's not what this is. This is nice quality black flat back pearls. Oh, this. I cannot wait to put this over a book. Kind of like what Kara made for me. You guys remember that junk journal that Kara made with the lace over the whole thing? Look at that nice thick band of lace got some stretch to it so I'll be able to stretch it around the cover love it so nice let me see oh she has these on her Etsy and I love these these are listed as dressmaker tags and she sells a big stack of them and I think they're like a couple bucks but I thought these are too cute so so she has those oh here's another more brown trim or brown ribbon I'm telling you guys you cannot imagine what she has this one is a little bit skinnier there is so much to see and uh, you guys don't you can't even imagine seam binding for those of you that love seam binding you want a color girl she has it <laughs> I have never seen so much seam binding ever and I love seam binding it's great on cards on minis to tie bows on your tags on packaging anything you could imagine 
all different colors of seam binding and this is not all her colors this is only some <laughs> this is a smidgen of what she has i'm telling you guys i i was in like trim heaven you cannot imagine what she has okay let me see this trim i thought this trim was great too and oh this reminds me if you hear it julie is so cute she's <laughs> she is so real and genuine and she's so pretty and amazing and she had this bracelet on that was bells and it was around her her ankle and it kind of like tinkled when she walked it was really cute she's such a nice person but this trim, when I was jingling it, that's what it reminds me of. So there's this trim. I love this. And it's kind of got an olive gold, Tuscany feel to it. So I love that. She has, um, she, I love these. She gave those to me as a gift. I love, oh, she's amazing. I can't tell you. These Prima, beautiful. These tiny ones, I can't wait to work with. She had all these sprites from Prima. So she gave me a bunch of those. She gave me blue ones and pink ones. And guys, I'm telling you, amazing, amazing stuff. She's an amazing lady. Amazing. I, I like, <laughs> I'm so excited that I came and normally I cry. And I came and cry because I'm so excited <laughs> to tell you guys about her and everything. I love these. I can't wait to finally break into my Once Upon a Springtime paper that I've been hoarding and use these sparkly flowers on it. going to be perfect. She gave me game pieces and I mean look guys, she's got clock faces that are wooden, clock faces that are metal, Chinese tokens, tiny little dominoes, the big wooden vintage dominoes. Get the engraving on the back of those great some of the wooden ones some of the um 70s you know plastic ones she's gave me these little chinese game pieces chess pieces these little chess pieces remind me a little wooden dollhouse candlesticks <laughs> these metal hearts more chess pieces vintage monopoly pieces <laughs> one share in the gold mine game pieces how cool are those she had so much cool stuff she gave me um chase likes mickey mouse and buzz lightyear and stuff so she gave me a bunch of mickey cards to use in something for him and then like i said guys he likes dinosaurs and all that so look at the i mean I'm going fast and I've been going through stuff for a long time. Look at all the different cards she gave me. Um, Buzz Lightyear and all the Toy Story ones. Mickey Mouse cards. Her husband's a big Mickey Mouse fan so she's got a bunch of Mickey memorabilia in her house. So cute. She's got the cutest like um, it's a like a stone brick type house and it is in a pretty neighborhood and it's such a pretty pretty house it's so nice and she's got I'm telling you guys you have got to check out her site and her Etsy some vintage cards flash cards game cards flash cards and I have looked and looked at yard sales flea markets everything cannot find this stuff bingo cards look at these ones awesome i'm so excited score sheets from a game old graph paper music paper out of somebody's old music book look old writing paper and then I, like when it couldn't get <laughs> just when I thought like I had seriously touched everything in her room I had dug in every little bin <laughs> there was more like when when you thought and everything is so organized 
you couldn't imagine the amount of stuff she has in her in her craft room everything's labeled and organized and coded amazing she's gonna come here and help me <laughs> she gave me this um, Jack and Jill book from 1952 and it's got all kinds of vintage pages and so cute so can't wait to use that on something a masonry book she gave me some pages out of an old masonry book an old math book I thought that was so cool an old algebra book Burlington and Northern um, like a it was an old map or a telephone book or something so those pages are so neat and old music note sheets what? books children's books and these I think are some of my favorites look how cool these are guys I'm telling you I've looked everywhere and found nothing like this and she has she has just found so much look how awesome that is I don't even know what I can use these on. I might, I might copy them. I know, and save them, because <laughs> I don't know if I want to really use it. More music sheets. Love that. Book pages, horticulture books, dictionary and encyclopedia. That was, this one has um, the commandments on it. You see that? And here's encyclopedia pages and more kids books. Kids encyclopedia. I know I get all excited guys and usually I either cry or get super excited so I cannot tell you. It's amazing. Like <laughs> she was so kind and welcoming and generous and amazing to me and I kept saying to her that I you know I came to visit her that she didn't have to give me anything and she just was so generous and kind and just kept bagging stuff up and pulling stuff out and you know I would tell her that <laughs> you know that was enough and plenty and she just was so generous and she welcomed me into her home it was amazing guys she is I can't tell you enough how nice and wonderful she is and she also um, she sent which I thought was really cool she sent a game home that her and Joy her little girl used to play and it's a bingo word game and she sent it home for Chase who's five so he's starting to read so I thought that was really nice and then she sent me an old Candyland game because I was looking for Candyland pieces so she sent me the whole game it's got the pieces, the card, the board everything so love that <laughs> and then last but certainly not least because this is getting to be oh, a long video she has these too these are crocheted um, little doilies these are awesome to make flowers or to put behind flowers or underneath stuff so these are super cool. There's all different kinds of these. These ones are in a string, different colors. I love these little tiny ones. They're going to look great under flowers. Like, can you guys see one of these under those? Oh, it's going to be great. All right. Now, last but certainly not least, like I said, this is, this happens to be um, one that she had, that has dinosaurs on it. She does custom orders. And she has just about anything you can imagine already made. She does small ones that are like four and a half by four or four by four, six by six, eight by eight. And then um, she may do other sizes in between two. I'm honestly, not 100% sure. She does very, very nice work. It's clean. It's well made. Um, they're made out of paper bags and they're stitched together so it's not going to fall apart. And you can see this one here, it's got some dimension to it, and she's got, each page has a pocket with a photo mat, 
a card, and a tag. So you have your standard size pictures, your journaling, and then a little card too. So I thought that was really cool. And her tags, she stains herself. And each page has like a little bit of an embellishment in the corners. And you can see there, all the pages are set up similar. But what a nice book. And then of course she's got the bag too, so you can fit memorabilia in there. But I love the setup. There, there's so much room for pictures in this book, and that's something that I think all of us, myself included, forget when we make a mini. Is um, hello, pictures have to go in it. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. You're watching somebody's video, and they're like, "Oh, look, I left this page blank because I wanted to show you this in the middle, and I glossy accented it." And I'm like, "Okay, well, aren't you gonna glue your picture in the center of that?" <laughs> Not criticizing. Please don't think I'm criticizing. I'll get I'll get hate mail. I'm not criticizing. Just wondering. Like maybe I, you guys can tell me like how you do that. I do it too. I'm like, oh, how pretty that is. Paper so beautiful. Then I'm like, oh, don't. Where am I gonna put my pictures? <laughs> so I think her books are super cute. She has a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse book that, with gears and all these bright colors that I love. Loved it. She had um, a purple one that I looked at while I was there. It had purple flowers and stuff on it. It was beautiful. So you guys can see plenty of room for pictures. You can stick a picture down here, picture on both sides of these mats. If you wanted to put a small picture and journaling on the tag, you could. If you wanted to put some index prints on these, you could. If you wanted to cover one side, you could. There's the back with her stamp nice and open. And you can see here that while the book is stitched, she added a little accent piece on there to hold it together. Very, She does very nice work, and it's very high quality. She's using, um, she's using nice stuff putting it together well. Glue's not sticking out. There's no sticky parts. It's not peeling. Stuff's not peeling up. It's really good. Really, really good work. So, again, guys, I want you to go and visit her Etsy. Visit her shop. You guys know, if I find somebody that has nice stuff at a good price, I want to share that with you guys. This is amazing. She does amazing work. It's amazing stuff, and it's awesome prices. So let's support one of our own and go check her out. And again, she is the paper bag lady and she's Julie Dawson. So um, thank you all for watching me and thank you all for support. Ah, I found more <laughs> for supporting Julie. I lit trims. Look guys, I'm still finding it. Love that. And it came in two colors. Look at this one. Guys, I cannot tell you. I'm still finding stuff. There's black. She packed me so much stuff, guys. At <laughs> Amazing. So there you go, guys. That is um, my paper bag lady haul. Um, which actually really wasn't a haul. It was a rack. <laughs> because she's amazing. She Julie is amazing. So she rocks. Go check her out. Support Julie, guys. And thanks for watching me. Bye, everybody.